from the depths of time and space, one autistic weirdo has found his final obsession. Everybody, I'm Zeke of Zeke Rambles, and today we're gonna ramble about Stegosaur. Stegosaur, who is a Stegosaurus. Actually, a pretty damn good Stegosaurus, if I may say so. Um, because, like, one thing that, like, a lot of toy makers don't get when they make a Stegosaurus is that, uh, its back legs actually are longer than its front legs, which kind of gives it this awkward slant, but, hey, no, it, this, this toy has it. This toy actually has it. Also, look at these little back legs. they got a little joint back here, so you can, you know, do a little waggle. And then the front one also has that waggle function, but... I don't think it looks as good as the tail. Though I guess if you like, if you were able to like stick his legs on a, what do you call them? On a like chopsticks, you could probably like, or skewers kind of makes it look like he's a, uh, got like some real locomotion to him. That's actually kind of neat. My meat hooks could show that better. I'm, I'm starting to realize toy reviews are a dainty man's game or dainty female. Or dainty non-binary person. Progressivism. Alright. Hashtag. Alright, so then uh, we have... Yeah, I think it's kind of cool. He's got all these little foldy bits. Like a... Well, he wouldn't be foldy on a Stegosaurus. Uh, he's got these cool translucent ion cannons. Like, pew! Pew! And if you don't like them, you can get them to the side. And then it just looks like he has... More spikes, which I love. You get little panel spikes on the back as well. Like I said, my fucking meat hooks. My fucking meat hooks getting in the way of this. Alright, then I got like a... God damn, my meat hooks. And then we got this uh, cool tail, fully articulated. Go back like that. Uh, it's got these little movable spikes, which no matter what you do, or you put your hand there, they're gonna move. Um, like I said, Cause the legs to move. Uh, it has a little gun, a little shotgun, molded in there. Kind of reminds me of the uh, Velociraptors from Zoids. And he also has little. Uh, you you can kind of see it in the video, but like he's got little spikes on the side as well, which are less Stegosaurus and more uh, Gorgon. Well, that's the Gorgonosaurus is a Ankylosaurus. Never mind. I'll shut up. Um, yeah. Is uh yeah like I kind of said his legs have got more movability you know little ball joints right here these are just a solid molded piece they can go around like that but really they're just kind of there to stabilize them and because this Stegosaurus is a quadruped this little panel right here the little hexagonal things kind of like how uh what do you call them Halo had uh, opens up for the transformation and then uh his head. Head's neat. Head kind of looks like a miniature version of the Dio uh, character. Um, mouth opens. Head's on a mushroom joint, so he can tar So you can, you can get him good. Like you can get like some good articulation. It's like he's thinking. Like, oh, 
How? He's kind of like. They're not angry, but they're, they're kind of like vacantly angry eyes. I actually, call it, actually, what I'd call them. And then, uh, yeah. Yeah. He's kind of stegosaur, man. He's he's real simple, sweet, and to the point. And my only real criticism against him is like, unlike the last two Beast Box toys I have reviewed up to this point, you 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 can absolutely tell that like look at look at this blocky some bitch. You can absolutely tell this guy turns into a box. But hi. Hey, it's me. I have a face. Okay, so. A uh, stegosaur turned this man into a box. How are we gonna do it? All right, so in order to transform it, first thing you're gonna do is kind of like get you, get in the top of here. Just like fold any of these little uh, panels back so you can get your th uh, your fingernail in there, and then pop off this side. And then I don't know how I'm gonna show it in the video, but there is then another panel. There's a there's a panel within a panel. And then you take the panel within that panel, and you awkwardly, where your where your, where your hand does not want it to go, kind of like oh yeah, it's like from the bottom to, to you're gonna take it you're gonna take it from the bottom, and yeah, take it from the bottom, and flip the fuck, take it to the bottom, fucking thing, flip the bottom to the top. Okay, that's as good as that's gonna get. You're gonna wanna do it on the other side as well. Yeah, the exact same, if you can see it. I don't know if you can fucking see it. Uh, my meat hooks are getting in the goddamn way, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> oh my. Curse these giant fucking hands. All right, so now that you get this is this should be flat. No more, no more nubs. Keep them to the side. Keep these to the side for right now. And then you're gonna take the front legs and you're gonna fold them. You're gonna fold them in like fold them down and fold them in like this. And then you're gonna fold them onto here. So I need like a female assistant not for anything weird just because their hands would be fucking small enough to be able to show you how this toy works but yeah so once you get it folded onto the chest I guess that's gonna be my insecurity for the rest of this video series all right so now that you have this down you're gonna take the you're gonna go to the neck you're gonna get your fingernail in there you're gonna unplug it and on the other side yeah if I can get that show you there you go, ah, I was able to show you. I right, fold it all the way down. And I hate this part the most. There's a little hinge in here that connects to this piece inside here. And I'm afraid one day I'm gonna break it. Not because this isn't a well-made sturdy toy. It's an exceptionally well-made and sturdy toy. Uh, the, the meat hooks, the giant fucking meat hooks. I'm, gonna break, I'm afraid I'm gonna break it one day. That'd be my fault. All right, now now that we have everything in complete disarray, uh, you're gonna take the tail, kind of straighten it out, uh, fold the back, fold the back panels on to the guy, fold these forward, and then you're gonna hold the body like so, and then just. Extend that baby out. Let me show you something. Right, right there. See, it extends. In. Out. There you go. And then, now that you've done that, there's room. Sorry, my eye there. There's room inside the chest cavity that you can grip it, open it, and they're gonna accordion the head. accordion the head inside the body it's a little difficult to do but um, as long as the tail is pulled out it's it's easier said than done all right so this closes if you hear a snap you did it right yay all right then I'm gonna take the back legs and fold the uh, fold them in as kind of like squeeze them in to themselves 
and then similar to and then there's these little tabs on the crotch area you're gonna fold the feet in like so to where both the bottom feet the front feet and the back feet are touching like this and then yeah, do it my fucking giant hands do it exactly the same this we will call this the giant Zeke bitches about his giant hands episode and then uh, yeah, all right so looking good looking good so far kind of looks like a like a weird spaceship or weird spiky spaceship maybe the Gorn from Star Trek would use let's see and you're gonna okay this is actually funny um, you'd think you could do it either side but no start with this this side last this side first but you go into the body 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 close back up all right and then you're going to take the side panels rest them on the side take these rest them flat against the body because you can do that now and we're going to go back to the tail we're going to split tail in half. You're going to take this little connector piece, fold it in flush against the tail, fold tail, kind of like in, there's a little, uh, there's, a, there's a tab right here, and there's a connector bit somewhere in there. It's hard to view where it is, but it's in there. You're going uh, to get the tail straight, straight as you can, fold it down, It'll press in like that. You do the exact same over here. There you go. You actually heard that one. All right, now that we got it like that, make sure it is flush against the back like that. And then a little tab in here, a little tab in here, a little uh, slot, slot, yeah, slot. Circular slot there, tab there. Same on this side. Fold it in. And it should, you should see orange. Fold it in. And you should see orange. Okay, and then we're gonna fold the guns in on the side. And then you finish it off by taking the neck meat and plugging it in to the front. And I tell you what, I may have been complaining about my hands the whole time, but that's probably the cleanest cube transformation we've gotten on this show so far. All right, moment of truth, y'all. Do we have cube? Ladies and gentlemen, and envies, we got cube. Yeah, here's what it looks like close up. Let's get the, yeah, I like it. It's, um, it's a big reveal where you get all these like uh, internal clear orange bits that have all these uh like bits of like engine and machinery inside. It's a really nice touch. Kind of reminds me of uh, Zephyr. They're both green as well. And then uh, I also kind of like it because it, you kind of get like these um, like little like almost hidden face uh, hidden face Mandela effects on here. You get a little guy there. Even a little like kind of like almost like a bird on the front here flying off and or like a pterosaur. You know, probably more of a pterosaur with a. Uh, Think, sure. But yeah, yeah, probably meant to be a pterosaur since this is a dinosaur. They have that little flying motif in there. But yeah, Stegosaur. He's uh, one of the older ones. He's a little. He might be uh, more difficult to come by these days. However, um, the he gets he's um, been repainted in the past before for other promotions. So. It's uh, you might even though you might not find this particular guy, you could probably run into a, a different variant. Uh, there's also a um, another beast box um, also that uses this mold, but to create a completely different animal. Um, if I get one of those, I'll show you. I'm not going to spoil it. Um, you can look them up yourself. But yeah, like I said, like he's he's an older beast box. So if um, if you can't buy him anymore, you just can't fucking buy him anymore. But I'll, I'll look eBay, AliExpress. Um, Amazon to see if anybody can find this guy if he wants him. Uh, so yeah, this has been Stegosaur. I have been Zeke Fowler of Zeke Rambles, and uh, I'll catch you guys around the Milky Way. Hey, thank you for watching to the end of this video. Did you know that I have a completely other channel? It's my main one.
I do Let's Plays. Nintendo shit. Because I like to. There's also a Twitch version, but that's more like a fun behind-the-scenes thing. The, the, the YouTube channel with the Let's Plays is more the the real focus. I edit the videos real good. Not like these ones, which are also edited good, but not as edited good as the other ones. But, you know, don't take the ramblings of some autistic weirdo. What do you think, um, renowned actor and paramedic Austin St. John? This is Austin St. John, Jason, the original Red Ranger. Make sure you check out the Cosmic Rejects, because if you haven't, you don't know what you're missing, man. You're missing out. Get there. Be there. Check it out. Be a part of it.